is behind us now to the boys 3000 invite and again this should be all kinds of fun uh, Michael Mayorano of South Medford High School in Medford Oregon has run the US number three time this year in the 3000 8 15 48 so he comes in as the favorite but it will not be easy for him James Crabtree of Oregon has run 8 19 63 that's number 11 time in the country he's a Sherwood High School product in the 6a cross country champ this year uh, Nathaniel Avala of Clovis High School in Clovis California has an 856 3200 PR so he's going to be right in the thick of things Lincoln High School's Aiden Smith's run 823 Wesley Shipsey who was third at the cross country championships this year from Central Catholic is another phenomenal 3,000 meter runner. And then there's Tyrone Gorsey, the junior from Crater High School, who was the 5A state champ in cross country this year and sixth at the East Bay National Championship. I mean, take your pick from that five, and that's not even all of the contenders in this race, Tom. There's a, uh, this is a, a, a so many storylines in this race. Just tremendous. Uh, Gore Z, by the way, is the um, fifth fastest in the country in the 3,000. I know everybody's got different lists and so on and so forth. Um, so he's a real legitimate guy. But but a couple guys that we should mention, Caleb Lakeman, he's third on the national list in the 1,500 at 352.35. He's from Tualatin. His dad, Dirk Lakeman, a former 1335.9, 5,000-meter runner, and he ran his PR on this track in 1985. Uh, and then another guy that, that's interesting is Jacob Nino, uh, a junior from Jesuit. His dad, Mark Nino, was the American record holder at the 10,000 meters and is now president of the Sorel brand at Columbia uh, Clothing Company. So we got a lot of interesting uh, athletes in this, in this particular field. And you mentioned Lakeman. He's headed to Georgetown to run next year. They are a great program in the Big East. He was uh, fifth in the 800. This 3,000 is a stretch distance-wise from generally he's an 800, 1,500 guy, but stretching himself out today. Right now it is Avala of Clovis out in front in that yellow. Nathaniel Avala, again, 856 in the 3,200 this year. He was fourth in the 1,600, third in the 3,200 at the uh, Central Section Meet in California last year. He has the lead. Mayorano running right behind him. And then tucked inside of Mayorano is Isaac Halverson of Farmington. And then James Crabtree of Sherwood's comfortably positioned, as is Tyrone Gorsey. And this is a good opportunity for Gorsey. Again, Crater competes at the 5A level. So though Gorsey is as fast as all these 6A guys is up against here, he doesn't get to race against them for state championships or in the cross country state championship. So for him, these are his opportunities, big meets like this, to run against the big school guys and compare head to head. I like Orsi in this race. I think he's got a real chance to win this thing. Um, I think, it, it, by the way, 213 through 800 meters. I think Gorsi is gonna be a major factor in this race. And Mayorano's a tough kid. Um, I've seen him run a couple times, and he is a real, he is a workhorse. He's a tough kid. He's the guy leading, and um, he's fun to watch. He's headed to Gonzaga next year, and we're about to see a whole lot of Gonzaga distance running talent coming up in these college invite races. Uh, Mayorano again, 8 15 48 this year. He was sixth in the 3200 at the Arcadia Invitational. He's out in front. Lincoln's Aiden Smith up in the mix. Smith is running at Oregon next year. He will run for the Ducks. He was uh, seventh last year in the 3,000 at the uh, 6A state championships and seventh at cross country nationals this year. And you mentioned Mayorano's um, uh, finish at the Arcadia meet. And keep in mind that Arcadia is like a national championship when it comes oh, yeah. to the 3200 they get like 20 guys to break nine minutes in that race that last lap was 62 one by the way 315 through 1200 meters so they picked it up a little bit there and um you know we're looking at right now about an 810 uh pace here for this 3000 810 would be good for a third fastest in the country this year the uh Leader is Colin Salmon, 806.99, one of those uh, Newberry Park guys you were talking about in the uh, studio show. Uh, uh, he and Lex Young, also out of Newberry Park, 807. Uh, the top 
eight times in the 3,000, all actually come from that 3,200 in Arcadia, like you were talking about. They took the 3,000 time on the way through, and all those guys clocked in ahead of guys running just straight up 3,000s this year. It's just amazing. And, you know, it's a discussion worth having how much the, uh, the, the new footwear and everything like that is affecting uh, the, you know, middle and long distance uh, performances. But, man, alive, I'll tell you, the, the, the times are just crazy. Hey, for the first time, here comes. Oh, sorry. Uh, Bill, so 427 at um, 1,600 meters. 427. All right, so good start to this one, 427 through 1600. And I was going to say uh, that for the first time, your guy Tyson Tyrone Gorzee is starting to show his face. Gorzee has moved up into that second spot with the flowing locks and the big crater C just behind Sherwood's James Crabtree and now Mayorano coming right back up to the front. So the uh, cream of Oregon distance running is rising to the top right here as Mayorano moves back into the lead along the rail inside of three laps to go. They just went 66 seconds on the last lap. Each of the last four laps have been between 66 and 67 seconds. And you know what I love about this race is there are so many athletes still in contention. Look at the depth. It's extraordinary. This is not a weak pace. This is a honest pace in this race, and we have so many guys still in contention. Gorzi now moving to the front. He talked about how, for him, the biggest key to his success this year was that he stayed consistent, held himself to a really high standard back in 2020. He said he remembered when practice was canceled uh, for the first time due to COVID on March 13th, 2020. They were scheduled to do a 10-mile run that day. Practice canceled. He didn't care. He went out. He did his own 10-mile run, and that was kind of the mantra he stuck to while he couldn't practice with his teammates. He held himself accountable, and he came back as one of the top runners in the state of Oregon. He still leads inside of 800 meters to go. Avila, Caleb Crabtree, Blake Lakeman, and, and Marano all in the mix. Yeah, a Caleb Blakeman, who looks exactly like his dad. Uh, he's like a spitting image of Dirk. Uh, he's having the race of his life here right now, if he can hang in there. He's wearing hip number four, and again, right in the teeth of things. Mayorano still out in front. Gorzi leading the pack. Mayorano, those long legs in third with Crabtree sandwiched in between in second. The senior Crabtree, the state champion in cross country at 6A this year. The 5A state champ in cross country, Gorzi, just ahead of him. 638 through 2400. So they are right on 815 pace. Right on 815 pace. We will have two, maybe three guys in the top 10 in the country after uh, when all is said and done from this race. It's Gorzi, Crabtree, and then how about Wesley Shipsy of Central Catholic moving up into third? Third at the Cross Country State Championship this year. Shipsy, known more for the 800 and 1500, but he is in this race trying to keep contact with Crabtree and Gorzi. And no matter what Gorzi has done here, he hasn't been able to shake Crabtree yet. And it's Crabtree in great positioning with about 200 meters to go. Amen. And he has leg speed. And look at Lakeman. Lakeman just moved in front there. And look at, here comes Lakeman. Lakeman all the way up and moving hard. Caleb Lakeman, he's known for his 800 and 1500 speed. The Georgetown bound senior from Tualatin has moved past the top two. It's Caleb Lakeman in his first 3000 of his high school career. Caleb Lakeman on his way to picking up a huge win and doing it in a massive time of 8-10-91. Good for third fastest in the country this year. The race of his life for Caleb Lakeman. I hope Dirk Lakeman's in the stands tonight because that was a masterful piece of running. Tommy closed in 59.06. Gorzi goes 8-11-60 into second and into fourth in the country this year. Crabtree 8-11-83, fifth in the country this year. Aiden Smith 8-14-56, sixth 
in the country this year. So the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth fastest times. Adam Ayorano's time of 8.14.91, the seventh fastest in the country this year. And Shipsy 8.15.72, the eighth fastest in the country this year. All right, we got Arcadia for 3,200. How about this one for 3,000? Oregon Relay is now the mecca of the 3,000. How about the confidence Caleb Lakeman had in his kick? The confidence to wait and then go. That was impressive as heck. And great depth. Hey, I got one other impressive. Here. I got one other impressive number for you, Tom. How about uh, breaking Cole Sprout's Oregon Relays record by three seconds? Caleb Lakeman. Thanks, Paul. Caleb, you must have been the most patient guy in this race. You 